Now I'll just uh, finish uh, drilling through here. Um, these are the holes that I started before I put the other side on and so I need to go ahead and drill through them now. that's done I'll clean this off and I'm going to start getting ready to um, put the seal the sealant on the bottom here now what I'm going to use for sealant is um, I use this stuff called uh, tight seal and uh, it's a window flashing material this is something I read on the um, teardrops and tiny travel trailer site and uh, that somebody was using and uh, so I decided to try it and uh, hopefully that's a good decision but it seems like it would work and this is the stuff here it's called tight seal self adhesive waterproof flashing and uh, it comes in rolls and there is a it's aluminum flashing with an asphalt material uh, that's bonded to it and then a, a cover sh a uh, protective sheet so you peel the sheet off and you just stick it down um, so uh, I, it seems to me that that should work pretty well so that's what I'm going to do and uh, so I'll show you how I do it here in a sec. Okay I've got my first piece cut here. Let's see if we can put this down. This stuff is sticky. get it down the right way when you first put it down because I don't think you're going to get it back up. It's not right. Okay, that's seriously stuck down. Alright, good. Now the next one, I'll just overlap it and we'll just keep going all the way the uh, full length of the teardrop. Okay, you'll notice how I'm putting this on is uh, I'm going from the back to the front. So basically I'm getting overlaps like this. So as you're driving along, I'm thinking that the water is going to go this way. And so it'll be going up over the laps. Hopefully it won't be trying to work its way underneath this stuff. So, and you notice I'm not doing the sides. What I will do is I'll put a single strip on the side and overlap everything. One of the stuff, things I'm learning about this stuff is... Uh, once it's down, it's down. Uh, <laughs> you can't get it up without destroying it. So. Okay, I got the last piece on here, so that's the bottom with all of the uh, flashing on it. And you can see how I did it, so here's the back of the, the trailer. So I put a piece down and then I would overlap it, and then overlap, 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 and then once I got done, uh, then I put the side ones on so it overlaps here along the sides. 
And then the last one was this top one, which overlaps both the sides and these. So hopefully that will seal it very well. I think it will. Um, so the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to cut out, and I've already done it on this side a little bit, is uh, cut out where those uh, holes were for relieving the uh, bolt heads on the trailer. Okay, so uh, so now that I've got it done, you can see where I've, I've put the holes for, for where the, the bolt heads are and stuff like that. So how do I seal these? Well, what I'm going to use is I'm using this stuff, Leak Stopper Rubber Flex. It's a asphalt, I think, uh, asphalt or rubberized asphalt or something like that. Um, and uh, so what I've done is I've masked the edges. And I will spray that in here, and I was also going to spray it along the edge here. So uh, this will be, there won't be, there probably won't be any glue down here, a little bit of glue. But I just want to make sure that that's good and waterproof. So uh, I'll go ahead and do that. Okay, I've got all the spraying done, and you can see I got a nice crisp edge on this thing. And I think that sealed the edge of the panel. So the next thing to do is to flip it over and put it on the trailer. Okay, so uh, time to put the uh, floor onto the trailer. So I've got the floor suspended up here uh, from a lift. This is the lift that I use to lift the table up. So I've got the table moved off to the side. I'm going to back the trailer in and I'm going to lower this onto the trailer. Mosquitoes are pretty bad today, so I thought I'd close the door just because uh, they're pretty bad. Okay, just a little adjusting and uh, she'll be good. I'll start putting the, uh, the bolts down. Okay, I've got the floor uh, on the trailer and what I need to do now is uh, I need to go ahead and bolt it down. Now what I'm going to use to bolt this down is I'm going to use um, these. Um, so these are uh, carriage bolts. They're stainless steel. and um, 
So it has this rounded head and it has this uh, this wide um, top on it. And the problem is, is when I put these in, that's going to stand up a little bit. And especially along the sides, um, the, the way the sides fit is they, they overlap here and they're going to cover these. So these need to be recessed a little bit. So the way I do that is I'm just going to just countersink a little hole using a one inch Forstner bit. And I'm going to use a trick that you've seen me use before where I just take a scrap piece of plywood that I've drilled a hole in with the bit. I line it up and this is just to get it started. There we go. And that should be enough. Yep. So when that's uh, sunk in there, that'll be sunk down underneath the, uh, the level of the floor. All right, so uh, first thing you do is after you've uh, done the countersink here is I'm just going to take a screwdriver and run it down in here and make sure that the hole is lined up with the hole underneath. It seems to be. So then you take your bolt and drive it down into the plywood. Now, I'm just making sure that the bolt head is underneath the uh, surface of the plywood. So what I've got then is a washer and a uh, nylock locking nut. And I'll put those underneath here. And then take my wrench. Make sure that the uh, threads on the bolt engage the nylon on the, uh, the nut, just so make sure that it'll lock and just pull it down tight. So that's all there is to it. Okay, you've got the floor bolted down. Um, now all I've got to do is I want to put some epoxy along uh, where the joint is uh, on the sides. Uh, I've got to build a little, few little braces and then it's time to put the sides up.